he's a lobbyist, really. And do you believe that since he took money from Fannie and Freddie, the defunct, def uh, you know, pretty much uh, hated agencies now, uh, do you believe he should give that money back? Well, I sure do. Uh, he, he was on, uh, on a debate uh, saying that politicians who took money from Freddie and Fannie should go to jail, I mean, which is outrageous uh, in itself. But, but look, he, he says he was in a consulting business. That's very different than the consulting business uh, other people have been in. He, he was in the business of connecting folks with government. He was right. on K Street. This was a this was a, a connection with government kind of business. It's very it's very different than the private sector. So you one, say of the one, one of the things one of the things that I think people recognize in Washington is that people go there to serve the people and then they stay there to serve themselves. Right. And, and contacts in Washington, working for Freddie Mac, uh, getting paid 1.6 million dollars. By the way. A very different number than he said in the first debate. He said three hundred thousand dollars, and he was there as an historian. That'd make him the highest-paid historian in history. Right. Look, look, the the, uh, the, the this whole uh, uh, Washington crowd of insiders that stay there and get paid a lot of money there because of their associations. I think it's uh, uh, something the American people are tired of. Let's talk.